In this video, I'm going to share 10 things that surprised me about the Gibson Les Paul after owning it for a year. Number 1. It looks good with or without pick guard. Well, you may think that this is trivial, but hear me out. Some Les Paul models include the pick guard while others go naked. Without the pick guard, the Les Paul reveals even more of its beautiful wood grain, giving it an earthy and raw feel. It's like a rare view of the wood's nature, it just shows its pure beauty. Put that pick guard on if you just want a classic rock and roll vibe. Either way, it will still look good, but will it affect the tone? Well, that's another story. Number 2. You'll have a different relationship with your notes. The Les Paul is known for having a very long sustain, which can change how you play and connect with the instrument in an intimate way. You can add vibrato and bends that show emotion. Because the Les Paul has a longer sustain, you have more control over how the notes bend and gives you a lot of ways to express yourself. When you play, the Les Paul feels like it's singing under your fingers, creating a close emotional connection. It really makes you feel something. Take a listen here. Number 3. Satin Neck Finish are we guitar players or are we neck players? How the neck feels will greatly affect your experience. I really like the smooth neck finish on a Gibson Les Paul for a number of reasons. First, it's how smooth and quick it feels. That makes it easier for me to move quickly and smoothly along the neck. Because it is not glossy, my hands don't stick to the neck. Second, satin finishes have a more unfinished feel to them, making them feel raw and natural. I do like how it feels to be in closer touch with the wood. It seems like I've owned the guitar for a long long time. It's a cheaper trick to get that vintage feel. Number 4. It's an art piece. The Les Paul gives off a sense of musical and rock and roll mystery when it's in a room which makes it a conversation starter. When the Gibson Les Paul is displayed in a music room, studio, or living room, it becomes the center of attention and gets people interested. Compared to other guitars, the Les Paul is a better display. Well, at least for me. Check these photos out. What do you think? The Les Paul's design is also flexible, so it goes well with a wide range of decor styles, from classic and vintage to modern and current. It has a classic look that doesn't change with the times. The Gibson Les Paul makes a room feel more creative and inspiring, just like a beautiful piece of art. So, whether you're a serious musician or a fan of art, putting a Gibson Les Paul in your space can make it a place where you can enjoy music and art. It's not just a guitar, it's a work of art that makes your space look beautiful and brings joy to both music fans and art lovers. And more importantly, it's another excuse to get your parents, wife, or your husband's approval to get a new guitar. You can thank me later. Number 5. Wisdom of the two volume and two tone controls. Each pickup has its own volume control, so you can change the output level of the bridge pickup and the neck pickup separately. If you turn the volume of the neck pickup down, it's great for rhythm playing to get clean, soft tones for smooth chord progressions or gentle arpeggios. At the same time, the bridge pickup can be turned up a little bit to give your playing a little more warmth and sustain. Take a listen.
forget the two tone controls which you can still play around with. Turn the neck pickups toned down a little for a lead sound that is softer and rounder. And keep the tone of the bridge at full for a lead tone that screams and cuts through the mix. Take a listen here. The neck pickups tone knob is at 50% and the bridge tone at full. I'll go from the neck, middle, then the bridge position. for bedroom or sitting guitarist. In my opinion, the Gibson Les Paul is not good for sitting or bedroom players because of its weight. Les Paul guitars are known for having solid bodies which can make them heavier than some other types of guitars. When practicing or recording for a long time, I find it difficult or tiring. And to me, after 30 minutes of sitting down and playing the Les Paul, I can't feel my legs anymore. It's like I pinched a nerve or something. Number 7. The PCB is just fine. Despite what some people think and say on the internet, the PCB or printed circuit board is not that bad for some Gibson Les Paul models. Here's why I think the PCB use is not a big deal. And how Gibson can still address it. First, it gives consistency and dependability. PCBs, just like in your iPhone, are made in large numbers using automated methods that make sure the links between components are always the same and right. In other words, being consistent. Maybe consistency is a word that Gibson fans haven't come to terms with yet. Most people want the variations, but come on, these are just wire connections. Look for variations somewhere else like in the wood, pickups, strings, and so on. 2. Pause effectiveness, PCB circuits can be easier to make and put together. I think this didn't go well with people who really like the Les Paul. They think that Gibson is doing shortcuts. But the truth is, yes they are. But it's important to know that the Les Paul's PCB wiring doesn't make it better or worse. Sure, you can remove it, but, but personally, I don't want to change anything to a guitar, especially if it's all stock. I think maybe Gibson themselves are at fault here. They didn't do a good job of letting people know about these changes, which is what made this mess. They should have created a story about how they came up with this idea and presented it to their customers in a clear way. Just like what PRS is doing recently. Their story behind the models and what they've done are very effective. So please, Gibson, sell yourself better. We think your marketing strategy we, the guitar playing community, really love stories. Number 8. The Gibson difference and its inconsistency. The biggest difference between a Gibson, an Epiphone Les Paul, or any other brand, in my opinion, is how they feel when you play them. I was in a store trying out an inspired by Gibson Epiphone Les Paul standard to see if it was really good. And it was really good. Then, at the same store, I tried out the Tribute model Gibson Les Paul. It was as different as night and day. The tone and feel are much more clear and open. The difference, in my view, comes from the quality of the build, the fretwork, and the paint finish. What you touch with your hands is what makes a difference in how you play. But I have to admit, not all Gibson Les Pauls are created equal. I've played the Gibson Les Paul slash signature in gold top and it wasn't as good as the Tribute. It was weird that the Epiphone Les Paul and the slash signature Les Paul are very similar. This made me wonder why do Les Paul across their lines differ in make and quality? Or maybe that Les Paul slash was just a one-off. So if you want to buy a guitar, you really need to try it out in person. Just what Red Shaw did. Number 9. Use wider straps. 
I strongly recommend using bigger or wider straps for the Gibson Les Paul or any other heavy guitar because of weight distribution. Since the Gibson Les Paul has a solid body, it can be heavier than other types of guitar. When the straps are thicker or wider, the weight is spread more evenly across the shoulders and back. This makes it easier on the neck and shoulders of the player. This keeps you from hurting and getting tired when you play for a long time or on stage. Plus, it looks cooler. Then, the split or coil tap feature is usable. Even though most of the internet say otherwise, the split or coil tap feature on a Gibson Les Paul can be very useful and give guitarists more tonal choices. This function lets players split or tap the humbucking pickups to use only one of the two coils in each pickup. I want to be clear, don't expect a big change in how it sounds. It won't ever sound like a Stratocaster or Telecaster, but having it there means you can change the tone if you need to. It's another way to change your tone. It is just a tool at your disposal. And the beauty of it, even when it coil tap or split, your note will have that distinct less ball sustain. Here's a quick demo. And since you're still here, you have a bonus. But before that, if you found this video useful, please take the time to like, comment, or share. Your comments gives me the inspiration to do more of these videos. Lastly, it is better to buy used one. I'm glad that I got a used Gibson Les Paul. Well, first of all, you can save some money so you can buy other music gear. Used guitars usually cost less than new ones. This means that you might be able to afford a higher end model or a guitar with high end features that you might not have been able to afford if you bought it new. Another reason is that some used Gibson Les Pauls may have been upgraded or changed by the former owner. Some of these changes could be new pickups, different hardware, or a different finish. This gives your guitar a more personal touch without the extra cost of designing a whole new guitar. Last, there is depreciation. Used guitars have already lost some of their value, while brand new guitars tend to lose value quickly after they leave the store. If you take good care of your used Gibson Les Paul, it's more likely that its value will stay the same over time. Sometimes you can sell it the same price you got it, or you might just lose a few bucks. And there you have it. I hope this video has helped you learn something new and have given you a better understanding of what it's like to own a Les Paul and all of its unique joys and challenges. If I forgot something, let me know in the comments. Until the next time, keep strumming. And as always, enjoy your guitar.